how to fix casters in Season of Discovery. Now, it's a 20-year-old fact by this point that warriors are the best class in World of Warcraft. But with Season of Discovery, we were kind of promised a, a different storyline. Every other class is going to feel just as strong. In this video, I'm going to dive into why casters aren't performing as well and what we can do about it. And if you stick to the end of the video, I even solved the problem. Come on, Blizzard. Before we get into how to fix casters in Season of Discovery, we first need to understand the problem. All right, and if you take a look at the d damage meters here, DPS warriors number one, tank warriors number four, all me other melee up there. Uh, DPS Warlock, on the other hand, is performing quite well, but we're going to get into why that is. You look at the bottom here, Frost Mage is below multiple tanks, Shadow Priest also performing poorly. Now, I don't need casters to be at the top or, or pass Warrior and Rogue. I'm even fine with melee being the best DPS classes. It's hard to get in position, so the ones who really do well, I mean, it's classic WoW. It's not that hard to get in position, but like, you know what I mean? Like, there's at least that aspect of it. The goal of what I'm trying to present is to bring Frost Mage, DPS Priest, Elemental Shaman and even Balanced Druid up to around where Fire ma Mage is at. Right in here is a sweet spot. And I'm break down the problem with casters into three categories. First one is Spell Power. Spell Power is the best way for casters to increase their damage in World of Warcraft. Intelligence does help a little bit with increased crit percent and uh, hit percent obviously on items is, is really important, but that's not specific to casters. Melee also have crit percent with agility and then they also have to get hit off their items. Let's disregard that. That's an itemization. I'm strictly talking about Spell Power here. Your casting is going to take into account your School of Magic your uh, general spell power and then add on your school magic spell power right pretty easy but there are some more complexities in classic wow that aren't really in the tooltips and just kind of grandfathered knowledge in from the last 20 years wowhead does a good job of this but i really think like how hard is it to add in improved tooltips kind of like in league of legends come on going deeper into spell power though each spell has a what's called a spell power coefficient spell power coefficient is a percent modifier that basically says how much of your spell power you're going to be getting in your spell and the higher the spell power coefficient for your spell the higher spell power you're going to get from your total spell power fire blast and instant cast fire spell is going to have a smaller spell coefficient than fireball at three second cast time that's just a quick rundown on spell power and spell power coefficients you need to understand this terminology for the next part here which is there's another damage calculation that gets factored in when calculating the damage of spells and that's your spell level and in classic wow you get spell ranks every even level and sometimes you'll go four six eight levels without getting a new rank of a spell and when you get that new rank boom you start blasting now that you quickly understand that spells are affected by um, your spell power your spell power coefficient and then your spells level let's quickly get into ex a further examination of the lowest season of discovery caster frost mage why was frost mage so bad this season you have fingers of frost you have ice lance you have icy veins well eh. these new runes were added in why is frost mage bad well there is yet another calculation that um is factored into um, spell power coefficients and spell power spell levels 20 and below have a reduced effect of spell power so frost mages got hit with a double whammy in phase one so not only did frost mages get screwed with rank four frost bolt which is level 20 and the rank five is actually level 26 so one level away so not only do they not have an upgraded spell but the spell is level 20 which means its spell power coefficient is neutered casting these little limp frost bolts and you're getting dusted dusted non-stop take a look at the spell power coefficient of frostbolt rank four this is level 21 you're getting a spell power mod of 0 0.706 and the next rank rank 5 0.814 now 0.814 is the spell power uh modification or sorry coefficient that you're going to get all the way to increase all the way to level 60. if you look at the damage difference here for phase one frostbolts look at this 74 to 82 on the rank four and then we got 126 to 138 almost double damage baseline. This breaks down our first big problem with phase one season of discovery for casters is the spell power mod, being able to use those level 20 spells and not even having them be as effective. Now, Shadow Bolt for Warlocks uh, also falls in the same category as Frost Bolt. You're, the rank four you get is, is at level 20, exactly the same. So why are DPS Warlocks the top caster? Well, it leads us into our next problem for casters in season of discovery, rune scaling. Spells gained through runes always scale to your level, which is great on the surface, but when the level cap is 25, even if you get a spell at level 24, all spells gained from your uh, runes, like Arcane Blast, Incinerate, Chaos Bolt, get that extra half step of scaling. So taking an examination of the highest DPS caster in Season of Discovery right now, the Warlock, two of their biggest damage spells here, looking at, we'll just take the top Warlock here, Detrace or Detrasi, looking at his damage spread, 46% of his damage in the raid is going to Incinerate, a rune, 20% Chaos Bolt another rune so casters that weren't able to just spam a rune slot were heavily disadvantaged in phase one sure it may be it may be a bigger problem in phase one but i think we're going to have this same problem in phase phase two and three which leads me to the third and potentially biggest problem here with casters is spell ranks this is going to be a problem in future phases i have a solution to alleviate this but let's let's look at phase two for example mage 
Fireball is going to be level 36. Frostbolt's 38. So Frost probably going to be a little better. Fire may be weak. Arcane Missile's level 40 with the new Missile Barrage thing. Kind of thinking uh, for PvE at least, Mage is going to be looking good in the Arcane Tree. So we're just missing that cutoff at 40 for Frost and Fire for the Mages. Warlock's going to be in a similar situation as to his Phase 1. Shadow Bolt, level 36. Corruption, level 34. Your dot's going to be really weak in Phase 2. Immolate, level 40. Fire's looking good again. Priest, you're getting a new Mind Blast at 40, but your Shadowed Pain is going to be level 34. That dot is going to do nothing. Shaman, on the other hand, looking pretty good. Chain Lightning's 40. Flame Shock, new rank at 40. Lightning Bolt, 38. So not that far behind with your spell ranks there on your main pumpers. Druid, looking to be okay. New Moon Fire is at level 40. Wrath is 38, but Starfire is a level 34 spell. The spell jump from a level 34 to a 42 is a massive DPS improvement. And if I'm correct, we're really going to see in Phase 2, the Ella Shaman doing okay, uh, Arcane Mage doing well, Destro Fire, Warlock, or anything that uses runes as spells is going to be just fine. That's all the problems I've noticed with casters in Season of Discovery. My solution to this, very simple. The same solution that Blizzard came up with two decades ago um, when the power creep of weapons and were scaling way higher than the casters. And that's adding new spell ranks at level 40 and 50. These could just be drops off particular bosses in the phase 2 raid of No More Gun. They could be BOE too, so you could sell them on the auction house. That way is melee or raiding and giving your new flashy weapon upgrades. Casters, especially like someone like a fire mage, and is shooting their level 36 uh, fireball, could get a new rank 7.5 fireball to scale to level 40. And this seems like an extremely easy solution. From a development, coding, and implementation standpoint, these spell books already exist, like rank 11 from AQ already exists. Copy that, make it a rank, uh, what was it, four and a half? Or I guess for uh, level 40, be seven and a half. So make a Frostbolt rank seven and a half, drop off one of the bosses and Nomar gone. So the mechanics of the coding are already there, so all you have to do is figure out the, the numbers that are basically hard-coded into spells. The spell power coefficient modifiers are going to be locked in because we're not level 20 and below. All you have to do is do a quick little comparison, maybe some basic algebra, and figure out um, all the damage and mana costs of the new spells that you would have to add in. So that's what I did. Here it is. Here's all the spell books I think we should be adding into phase two and three at a minimum. Also, this is excluding talents like Pyroblast, Mind Flay, Shadow Burn, etc. Oh my god, I'm huge. There we go. Okay, so all these spells here, I highlighted some of them in red. The ones in red are, I think, need to be must have changes. I already touched on Fireball, but that Fireball. Rank 7 is going to be a level 36 spell. Not going to be good for Fire Mages. The Corruption is very low, 34. 34 from the Shadowed Pain on Priest. Flame Shock is very bad. Starfire looking bad too. And if those are going to be in your main rotation, the scaling on them is just not going to be right. Now, the reason why I think this change is really good is it's not going to affect the end game of Season of Discovery. But it is going to affect the end game of each phase of Season of Discovery. From the looks of Phase 1, it's going to be a decent amount of time. Almost two months, two and a half months. What was it? November, I think. This is my suggestion to fix casters in season of discovery i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did find it helpful or entertaining or whatever hit subscribe thank you it helps me a lot